no one looked like me. I was the only African-American woman in the entire department. Like, I pick up on small things every day. I'll see that when I go into class, it'll be nobody sitting next to me. If there aren't black engineers here at U of I, I honestly don't know where they're at. African-Americans are severely underrepresented. We have to uh, do the right thing. We have to start to think creatively. Yeah. Let's go. Yay. That was perfect. Oh, yeah. good, good, good. Try and let all of it go down. My name is Donovan Chambers. I am in fourth grade, and this is my dad. And I'm Reuben Chambers. This program is named after St. Elmo Brady. He was the first African American man to get a PhD in chemistry at the University of Illinois. And I think it's important because he was an African American and we're all in this program African American boys who who are judged by just mm. our skin color and they're just trying to teach us that we could be great scientists just mm -hmm. like St. Elmo Brady. My name is Ricky Greer and my colleague and co-founder is Dr. Gerard Henderson um, and we put together the St. Elmo Brady STEM Academy. Our program is in Champaign, Illinois, um, and so we target fourth and fifth grade minority boys, um, and we just want to expose them to new opportunities, new realities, and hopefully the students will uh, consider STEM careers. Donovan is a great student of ours. He's really engaged in the program. He's really excited about the program. Donovan's father just seems to be really engaged in his education. Um, and really wants to be a, a great mentor towards him. I hope uh, we've changed his son's life. My people, minority people, don't use science as a first, second, and sometimes third option. And you know, you have to train yourself. It's not about whether you're smart enough. You just have to educate yourself and become what you want to become. And that's what St. Elmo Brady fosters. One of the things that I'm participating in is the Saturday program. So it's an opportunity for Donovan and I to build some time together, to learn stuff together. It's kind of nice to also be a consistent face for the kids to come in here and they get to, used to you and they're high-fiving you. So that's really a great experience because we're building a bond. I'm meeting other kids. I'm being able to be on some level a role model because they see our relationship. More fun when you're there. All right.